What's the secret to influenza viruses' success? The fact that they are constantly changing. Because of this, there is a need for continuing global surveillance and vigilance. It is important to collect data and virus samples to update seasonal flu vaccines, as well as to monitor other flu viruses, such as those circulating in animals. To address the serious threat of seasonal and pandemic influenza, the Global Influenza Surveillance and Response System, or GISRAS, was founded in 1952. GISRAS is an ever-growing network and is currently in approximately 125 WHO member states. It includes WHO Collaborating Centres, WHO Essential Regulatory Laboratories, ERLs, WHO H5 Reference Laboratories, National Influenza Centres. There are more than 150 laboratories and 148 National Influenza Centres that form the backbone of GISRAS. They are hard at work conducting surveillance in their country and performing preliminary analysis. They also ship clinical specimens to a WHO collaboration centre or essential regulatory laboratory for further investigation. GISRAS provides logistics advice, guidance and assistance, including during outbreaks and emergencies. It also supports national influenza centres with shipping services through the Shipping Fund project. The sharing and laboratory analysis of influenza viruses allow WHO to monitor viruses year-round and publish the data on portals such as FluNet and FluID. GISRAS assesses the risk of pandemic influenza, matches candidate viruses for use in vaccine preparation for both seasonal and pandemic influenza, updates diagnostic reagents and test kits, and investigates resistance to antiviral medicines. GISRAS has also contributed significantly to the COVID-19 pandemic. Much of the laboratory expertise and capacity that was developed for flu has been used for the COVID-19 pandemic. For example, each week, over 50,000 specimens are tested for COVID-19 through GISRAS. Change is inevitable, but through GISRAS, those changes will be detected, investigated and managed. For more information, please visit WHO's Influenza website.